LAX 18 News. Police say your tips helped catch two murder suspects in Jessamine County. They still need your help in a shooting investigation involving an officer. A ministry student is charged with reckless homicide in a fatal Scott County crash. And first responders from across the country show their support to victims of a Kentucky medical helicopter crash. LAX 18 News at 11 starts now. Good evening, I'm Adam Weiner. Thanks for joining us. Nikki Burdine has the night off. Nicholasville police made a pair of arrests in a deadly shooting from last weekend. While they're giving credit to the public for sending in their tips, they continue to reach out for help in solving another shooting, where the shots were directed at one of their own. Adam Yosem has more in tonight's LEX 18 Big Story at 11. It started out as an armed robbery. Nicholasville, Rebel Road, last Sunday after midnight. Investigators say Pasquale Hernandez was walking home from a bar when he was approached by two people. The armed robbery turned into a shooting that proved to be deadly. Hernandez, whom police say was shot in the neck, died on what would have been his 30th birthday. Six days later, we're getting a look at one of the suspects charged with both robbery and murder, 27-year-old George Mastin. The other suspect arrested is under 18. In the six days between the initial shooting and subsequent arrests, police say they received tips and lots of them. A lot of those, unfortunately, with any situation are dead ends. Uh, but we would rather chase a dead end than have no leads. So we had a lot of good leads and it led us to these two individuals that we arrested yesterday evening. Nicholasville police continue to reach out for public help in another shooting from last weekend they're still investigating. That one was on US 27 Saturday morning, where police say a motorcycle driver opened fire on an officer who was trying to pull the man over. Police say the driver sped away. Police only have a vague description of the driver, a black man riding a silver sports bike. The help from the public is what broke this case, and we're hoping help from the public will break that case as well. Covering the news in Jessamine County, Adam Yosem, LEX 18 News. A ministry student is charged in the deadly accident that killed a Scott County woman on Friday. Police arrested 22-year-old Tyler Knipple and charged him with reckless homicide. Knipple was driving a church van when witnesses say the van ran a red light on McClellan Circle, striking a car driven by 49-year-old Vicki Carol Lynch. Lynch died in the crash. The citation report says the van never braked. Knipple is a ministry student from Wisconsin whose group Minutemen Ministries was visiting the Bluegrass Baptist Church in Georgetown. Police are still requesting that more crash witnesses come forward. A pickup hauling a trailer crashed on I-75 in Rockcastle County this evening, sending the driver to the hospital. It happened at around 5 in the northbound lanes near mile marker 59. Police aren't sure what caused the driver to go off the road. We're told she suffered nine life-threatening injuries in the crash. Well, three medical helicopter crew members lost their lives in a Clay County crash last Thursday, and today the Air Evac family gave a special goodbye to pilot Eddie Sizemore, flight paramedic Lee Dobbs, and flight nurse Jesse Jones. Macy, Macy Insco has the story. From Texas to Alabama, Air Evac Life Team members filed into North Laurel Gym to say their final goodbyes to three of their own. We're together as a team, and there's a lot of times that we, you know, uh, may not know somebody at another particular base, but uh, if they wear the same uniform, they're our brother or sister. As their base supervisor, Stuart May, worked next to Eddie Sizemore, Jesse Jones, and Lee Dobbs on a daily basis. They loved this job. They, they did it. They got up every day and, and went out there, rain or shine, snow or, or, or just the heat of the summer. They, they didn't care. They, they wanted to do it just to save people, just to help people. He says he hasn't just lost three co-workers, but three friends. This is hard. It really is. I've, I've, I've been around so many people that died when I was in the Army, and, and, it, and it just you'd almost think it would be a stronger bond than this, but it wasn't. This is, this is the hardest thing I've ever gone through. But seeing the support of EVAC teams across the country helps provide everyone with closure. It kind of seems like there's almost a light at the end of the tunnel. Even though it's, it's never going to get any better, it, it at least may not be so hard. And I, I, at least I'm hoping. Covering the news in Laurel County, Macy Ensko, LEX 18 News. A building on UK's campus was evacuated this morning after a chemical spill. We're told a worker discovered the spill in one of the labs on the Health Sciences Research Building. Everyone inside was evacuated and roads leading to and from the building were temporarily shut down while the spill was inspected. It was contained to that room. We uh, 
sent a team in to investigate, found there wasn't any kind of reaction. And at this time, we're turning it over to the UK Hazardous Materials uh, representatives here. They're going to mitigate the cleanup and everything. The building was reopened and given the all clear for use early this afternoon. Well, it was a beautiful day out there. Plenty of sunshine in the forecast. Temperatures got right around or just above the average this afternoon, and it's been a great evening, too. Nothing on the Max Track Live Doppler. Things are changing, though. As we look out to our west, there is a low pressure system that's going to be pushing off in our direction. This will increase our chances of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon for your Father's Day. But as we head overnight tomorrow and into your Monday, that's when we're going to see the greatest chances of more numerous showers and thunderstorms. Visible satellite. Right now, we just have a few high cirrus clouds in the sky, and temperatures are still comfortable at 11 o'clock. We're sitting at 72 degrees in Lexington, 72 in London. Everyone's pretty much sitting in the upper 60s to lower 70s, so it's a beautiful evening out there. And as we head towards tomorrow, we're going to increase our humidity a little. It's going to feel muggy. We'll see partly cloudy skies, a chance of a shower by the early afternoon, but greater chances come later in the afternoon. Your complete LEX 18 storm tracker forecast is coming up in just a few minutes. Thanks a lot, Melissa. Well, the man known for giving out $500 tips is taking his charity on the road. Seth Collins held a send-off party at West 6th Brewing in Lexington this evening. Collins has been giving out dozens of large tips to Lexington area waitresses in memory of his late brother Aaron. The nonprofit known as Aaron's Last Wish has since exploded in popularity with people donating from all over the world. So Collins is now looking to take the tip cross-country. And they see that reaction, then they're inspired to go out and give and, and do for other people also. And so and that's what it's all about, is, is really inspiring other people to just be generous, be kind to each other. Collins is leaving next week and doesn't expect to be back in Lexington until the end of the year. Well, we had a beautiful start to the weekend, but as Melissa mentioned, changes are ahead for Father's Day. Your complete LEX-18 storm tracker forecast is next. And later, is the man accused of leaking information about the government's surveillance techniques a traitor or a hero? The latest on the NSA investigation is coming up in just a few minutes when LEX-18 covers your world.